Hi everyone, I'm so excited to start part two of trigonometric functions. And part two is all about arc length and sector area. Can't wait to dive into it. So here's a picture of a unit circle, but here we're going to be displaying arc length. So as you can see, here is theta. It's the like angle of the triangle, so to say. And R represents radius and S represents arc length. Okay, so the formula for arc length is S equals R theta. S represents the arc length, R represents the radius, and theta is measured in radians. However, you need to be able to go between radians and degrees in order to solve certain problems. So if theta is given in degrees, you must convert to radians first before solving the problem. And in order to do this, you multiply by pi over 180 to get the radian measure. So say you have 45 degrees and you need to convert 45 degrees to radians. You would do 45 times pi over 180 and that will get you the radian measure. If asked to solve for theta, you must convert the radian answer to degrees. So this is the exact opposite. So you would multiply the radian measure by 180 over pi to get the degree measure. So say you have 7 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 times 180 over pi will get you the degree measure. And this makes sense because if you're multiplying um, a radian measure times 180 over pi, the pi's would cancel out and that would leave you with the degree measure. So arc length example number one. Given a central angle of 128 degrees, find the length of its intercepted arc in a circle of radius five centimeters. So step number one, right? We just went over this. You have to convert the degrees to radians in order to plug in um, the value for theta. So here they're giving you 128 degrees. So 128 degrees times pi over 180 will get you 128 pi over 180. And this reduces, so then you would find the common factor in each, um, in 128 and 180, and you would reduce it. So this equation reduces to 32 pi over 45. So now we have theta in radians. So now we need to use the arc length formula to solve for arc length by plugging in values for the variables. So I put S in red because um, that's what we're solving for. And they gave us radius of 5. So we're going to plug in 5 for radius and 32 pi over 45 for the theta measurement. So once you multiply this together, the 5 and 45 cancel out because 45 is divisible by 5, which is 9. So you're left with 32 pi over 9. And arc length, you always can't forget the um, like the, the units for it. So arc length is measured in units and here it gave you the units of centimeters. So your final answer would be 32 pi over 9 centimeters. And down here is a picture um, just like we saw on the first slide. So 128 degrees, S on the outside is the arc length and 5 is the radius. Arc length example number 2. Given an arc length of 15 centimeters, Find the degree measure of the intercepted angle if the radius of the circle is 12 centimeters. So here we need to find the degree measure, meaning we already have the arc length and we have the radius. So we need to manipulate the arc length equation in order to solve for theta. So first we use the arc length formula to solve for theta. S equals R theta, theta is in red, and then we have to solve for theta. So theta, you divide both sides by R and you get theta is equal to S over R. And it gave us the arc length of 15 and radius of 12. So 15 divided by 12 reduces to 5 fourths. So this is the radian, this is um, this is the radian measure. However, it's asking us to find the degree measure. So we need to convert 5 fourths to degrees. So 5 fourths times 180 over pi gets you 225 divided by pi. And then when you plug this into your calculator, you would get 71.62 degrees. You cannot forget the degree symbol, okay? It's asking for degree measure, so make sure you don't forget the degree symbol. And here's just a picture again of arc length, um, the arc length circle. So the theta is in red, which is what we're trying to find. 12 is the radius, and 15 is S, which is the arc length. Okay, let's move on to sector area. So sector area, it's the same picture except we are trying to find the middle right here okay this middle section 
And specifically, here's a better picture. So the formula for sector area is one half r squared theta. It represents the sector area, r represents the radius again, and theta is measured in radians. So I really like this picture because it fills in the area of what you're trying to find. So this red filled in spot, this is the area which you're calculating. Okay, so sector area example number one. Find the area of a sector if the central angle measures 5 pi over 6 and the radius of the circle is 16 centimeters. So the theta is already in radians here, so all we need to do is use the formula and plug in the, vari the values for the variables in order to solve for area. So area is equal to 1 half r squared theta. So you do 1 half and they gave a radius of 16, so 16 squared, and the theta is 5 pi over 6. So you would plug this into your calculator and you would get 320 pi over 3. And remember, area is centimeters squared. It's always squared. So if the unit is inches or feet or meters, you cannot forget the squared symbol since it's area. So you plug 320 pi divided by 3 into your calculator and you would get 335.1 centimeters squared. And that would be your final answer. And here's just another um, picture of what's going on here. So the theta is 5 pi over 6 right here, radius 16, and I filled in A for the area, which is the red. So all that red is the area. Okay, let's go to our second example for sector area. The area of a sector is 81.5 centimeters squared. If the central angle measures 128 degrees, find the radius of the circle. Okay. So they gave us a measure in degrees. So immediately we should be like, okay, we have degrees, but we need radians in order to solve. So let's convert degrees to radians. So 128 degrees times pi over 180 is equal to 128 pi over 180. And this is reduces to 32 pi over 45. This should look familiar to you because we went over this exact calculation in a few slides previously than this. So now we have to use the area formula in order to solve for radius. So as you can see, I put the radius in um, red here. So we know the area is 81.5, so we plug in 81.5 for A, and we just calculated theta, which is 32 pi over 45. So now we multiply each side by two to get rid of the fraction of one half over here, and that would leave you with 163 equals R squared times 32 pi over 45. And then you would multiply each side by 45 and divide each side by 32 pi, and that would get you r squared is equal to 72.96. And then in order to solve for radius, since this is squared, you need to do the square root of 72.96. So the square root of 72.96 is 8.54. And since we're finding radius, we can't forget the units, which is 8.54 centimeters. So the radius would be 8.54 centimeters. And here's just another... Um, picture of what's going on. So we're trying to find r, which is the radius. That's why it's in red. The um, theta is 128 degrees, and the blue represents area, which is 81.5. So now that we went over both arc length and sector area, I'm going to show you an example of how to incorporate both arc length and sector area in order to solve a problem. So here is a problem. Find the area of a sector if the length of the intercepted arc is 39.3 feet and the radius measures 15 feet. Use the arc length formula to solve for theta. Okay, so step one is to use the arc length formula to solve for theta, which is s is equal to r theta. So we know we need to get theta in order to solve for the sector area at the end because that's our missing value. And we are able to do this since they give us arc length. So we solve for theta, we do s divided by r since in order to get theta by itself, you divide each side by r. We know that the arc length is 39.3, and we know radius is 15. So 39.3 divided by 15 is 2.62. And this represents the, um, the theta, which is measured in radians. So now we have theta, and we need to find area. So step number two, use the sector area formula to solve for area by plugging in values for the variables. A is equal to 1 half r squared theta. So all we need to do is plug in our radius and theta. So a is equal to 1 half times 15 squared, since 15 is the radius, and we just found theta, which is 2.62. So we plug this in for theta. You put this in your calculator, and you would end up with 294.75. And don't forget, it's area, so it's feet squared. Don't forget the squared symbol. And here's just another picture to showcase what's going on. 
So 15 is the radius, and theta is a missing value, and area is a missing value, and we solve for theta using the arc length formula, and then once we have that theta value, we are able to plug it into the area formula in order to finally solve for area. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you learned about arc length and sector area and now have a better understanding how to solve these problems that involve arc length and sector area. Please like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, drop a comment down below, and share using our socials. You can also email us at ecourtacademy at gmail.com and visit our websites for more features. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys for the next lesson. Bye! Thank you.